Hello my friends and welcome again. Today we are going to do something very simple. This is a very short video in which I'm going to show you uh, the first part of the phenotyping of our plants. For that we need to go to the greenhouse and essentially record everything that we observe externally but also we need to cut the plants to observe what's happening inside. When you go to the greenhouse the first thing you need to do is to check the plants externally. The very typical symptoms of the Panama disease, the yellowing, pseudostem splitting, and in some cases, abnormalities in the cigar leaf. Once you have the data of the external symptoms, what you need to do is to actually cut the plant and observe inside. If the plant is infected, you are going to see something like this. This is a real example of a susceptible plant that was inoculated with the tropical race 4. After five weeks, uh, around five weeks, you will see that the plant is showing the typical symptoms externally, but if you open the plant, you are going to see this. Now you are going to see how to do this in the greenhouse. So we take this one, you cut. Ah, I've seen those videos of you. Yes. Very important to take the labels, put them somewhere, so you know that uh, here, and then, roots, and then we press a little bit, stay with plant, we keep this like here, and this is what I meant with the cake, you remember? Yeah, yeah. So we cut this like this, oh, but the knife is very bad. Can you give me the other knife? And then we cut like this in the middle. Then some people open like this, yeah. wrong, like this. And then you can see a healthy plant because this is raised one. And then I'm going here. You can help me also with the labels. This is a Cavendish. It's resistant to tier four to raised one, sorry. So we do the same. Team plant. And this is a sick plant, very sick. So what you just observed, it was a real example of an experiment. We have taken the pictures of the corms and with those pictures, we are going to use a software to calculate the disease index of our plants and that we are going to do it in another video. So I hope you enjoyed and as usual, write in the comments if you want me to cover a specific topic and see you in the next video. Bye bye.